My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and in this video this is a continuation of a series we're doing to educate customers or potential customers on an Axapar 28. Uh, this particular video is going to be talking about the fresh water system so please take a look and if you have any questions feel free to reach out using the information below this video. So we'll start this video talking about uh, the fill, um, a word to fill up the water tank. Um, <clears throat> and the fill is just right here, a deck fitting. Uh, this, uh, the 28 Axopars uh, hold 10 gallons of fresh water. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and I'll show you where that tank is located. And now the things that uh, use fresh water on the boat are uh, the head, uh, see this uh, green tank here? That is the fresh water tank. Um, we are winterized right now, so you, you'll see the clear hoses. The clear hoses are fresh water, um, and you'll see that they're pink. Uh, there's pink stuff in there that is antifreeze. Um, but things that use fresh water, obviously, well, if you got the, he the fresh water head, obviously that uses fresh water. Um, the sink in the head uses fresh water. Um, and then there's a sink uh, underneath the helm chair that uses fresh water. And then the aft uh, shower as well. So where you put, uh, turn on and off the pump is right down here. There's this, this switch right here um, is your water pressure pump. Uh, right now it's on, you have to shut it off. Um, that is off, you can see the white band that tells you that it's off. And then to turn it back on, you just press it right here. Uh, your water pressure pump is located right here. Okay. Um, you've got uh, the water pressure pump and then right here, you'll see that's a filter. Um, the, uh, this pink hose here is water coming from the tank to this filter right here and then to the pressure pump where uh, after the pump, like right here, this is pressurized water. Now let's say you run out of water completely. Um, this pump's going to continue to run. Um, so what you want to do is just shut the pump off. You can shut fill up the tank with water. Once the water uh, tank is filled, you can turn the, the pump back on. You're gonna hear it, um, you're gonna hear it run and run. I'll just turn the sink on so you can, so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's the pump. Um, now sometimes um, if there's an airlock, the pump won't get uh, build pressure because there's air in the system. And what you can do, if that's the case, if, you, if the pump keeps on running after you fill up the tank, um, this fitting right here um, should just be hand tight. And what you can do is just, just unscrew it a little bit and turn the Turn the sink on and you'll see this, this will start to bleed the system and then you can turn, tighten it back up and you bled the system if, it, if the pump continues to run. Um, it, you, don't, you won't have to bleed it every time by any means, but if, if you're having an issue with the pump getting primed, uh, it's this fitting that you look for to open up um, to, uh, to bleed the system. Um, and then uh, along with, and then from, from here, uh, this, these hoses bring pressure to other parts on board the boat. Uh, this, this clear hose right here, these are your for the sink in the head and the sink underneath the helm chair as well. It's always good to be aware of what that water pump sounds like. Um, sometimes we get calls fr from customers and they, they are slow, they're hearing that pump cycle on and off at random intervals. Um, and one thing to pay attention to is making sure all the valves are closed. Um, and most commonly we actually, f 
find that this is the shower nozzle here and this shower nozzle could just be ever so slightly just turned on and just oozing out um, oozing out some water and that will affect the pressure so um, if you if you hear your uh, water pump cycling on uh, make sure to fit find all the fittings around the boat uh, right here underneath the helm chair uh, underneath the sink and in the head and you'll likely find a valve that's slightly opened up um, but besides that the fresh water system is beautifully simple and that's all you should really be aware of on the fresh water system on your boat I hope you found this video helpful learning about the fresh water system on an axle part 28 if you have any questions for us please do feel free to reach out using the information below this video